Welcome to episode ten sixty four. Donald Ray Horton, secretive home builder king of the United States. This episode is divided into two parts. Part one: the biography of D. R. Horton. Part two: the six lessons of D. R. Horton. Let us meet D. R. Horton. This is the only video I found him. Arlington is a great business environment. You're centered in the city here, in the center of the Metroplex, and just south of DFW Airport. And we, as we all know, we have people flying every day. Great place for business. I to locate your headquarters. I travel about 300 days a year, but when I'm here, I'm usually at the office. Somebody comes up to me and. and Thanks me for, for the great environment we have here with this building and working environment. We want to be, continue to be a great partner with D.R. Horton. He was born in 1950. He grew up in Marshall, Arkansas, a very small town. His father worked as a cattleman and a realtor. He enrolled at the University of Central Arkansas and decided to become a pharmacist. Later, he transferred to University of Oklahoma, but D. L. Horton never completed his studies. He left school in 1972. Without a college degree, he returned to Marshall, where he joined his family's real estate business. In 1977, he moved to Fort Worth, Texas, where he got his first job as a salesman for a local builder. He sold a house in his first day at work. In 1978, the second year, he started his own home building business. The next is exponential growth. In 1992, he took his company public in the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol DHI. Here's the stock price of DHI. This building is the headquarter of DHI in Fort Worth, Texas. This is one of typical D. R. Horton home. In 2021, the secretive D. R. Horton is the king of home builder in the United States. Now, part two: the six lessons of D. R. Horton. Lesson one: secrecy. Why is D. L. Horton so secretive? I think the answer is litigation. My research shows that D. L. Horton is suing a lot of counties in the United States, and also in return, he is being sued by a large number of customers. Lesson two: D. L. Horton is king of home builders. For the past ten years, he built more than eight hundred thousand homes. Lesson three: Find a niche. The year was nineteen seventy-nine. He was the first home builder to allow his customers to change the floor plan of a standardized house. The customer wanted to add a bay window. Was willing to pay five hundred dollars for it. Lesson four: Adapt, adapt, adapt. His first major in college was pharmacy. Then he dropped out of college, and he moved from Marshall, Arkansas, to Fort Worth, Texas, to take advantage of a large market. Lesson five: He travels a lot. To locate your headquarters, I travel about three hundred days a year. But when I'm here, I'm usually at the office. Somebody comes up to me and, and thanks me for for the great environment we have here. With Lesson six: Growth through acquisitions. This is how he maintained his number one position as a home builder in the United States. Here are his two most important acquisitions in the past five years. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Do you own a D. R. Horton home? Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.